Officially five and a half months locked. I am so excited. I cannot believe I actually made it this long. And um, I just wanted to give y'all a little update about my hair. Nothing too drastic right now. I'm just, you know, like just so happy that the time is flying by. You know, you get to a point where you start to really kind of watch your hair, you know, and it's like watching, you know, water boil, you know. I, I need to get out of that mindset, but I wanted to tell you a few things that I've been experiencing and one of the things has been budding and as you can see I have a few locks here that are budding um, or actually it's a bunch of them that are budding you can really see that one and um, so this is going on all over my head and I noticed I'm seeing this more so during this month than I did the previous month. So I would say that the month of month four is really started to bud, but I'm really seeing the majority of it now. Another thing I've been experiencing is dryness and that's always been a problem for me. Even in the past, I've always had really dry, dry hair. Um, when I was relaxed, when I was a loose natural, it was always an issue for me. And I think now, especially because, you know, I do swim a lot. I think all that comes into play why my hair has been um, especially dry. So I've been trying to up my game with keeping my hair moisturized and especially the back of my neck, my nape area, or some people call it the kitchen. That area back there has always been a problem for me. Ever since I was a kid, it's always been like short and broken off. And like whenever I'm stressed out or, you know, having just a bad time, um, it tends to really itch and I'll scratch back there. And I think all of that just comes into play with why that area stays broken off all the time. So I've been really babying that area, trying to keep it as moisturized as possible. And I'm hoping that eventually one day it'll heal up to the point where I can, um, you know, kind of just add another lock in that area because right now there's no lock there because that hair has to grow. I also noticed that I have some build up in my hair like it's not like all over or anything but there's like some some areas back here that I noticed that I have like some build up going on and I knew that was going to happen because I love the styling but well, not the styling but the retwisting wax that I use I kind of figured it was going to eventually start to build up so I did order one of those basins that you can do like a ACV rinse or soak or whatever and so I'm waiting for that to come in so that I can at least at the six month at the six month mark do like a soak and kind of get rid of all the buildup that I have accumulated from using that that retwist wax. So as you can see, I did like a struggle. Um, I'm sorry about the noise. A struggle barrel twist on my hair, and I think I'm gonna wear it pretty much like this for the rest of the week. But I don't like to wear my hair in my you know, I don't like to wear bangs or hair in my face because I noticed that um, I break out. And I think that's because of the styling products that I use in my hair. Um, even when I was a loose natural and when I was relaxed, if I ha have my hair close to my face, I tend to break out in those areas. So I try to keep my hair out of my face. And I think this is a pretty good um, style to wear to work. You know, it just it's nice and neat. So I, I like that. So I'm going to turn around and so you can see what the back of my head looks like. And as you can see, it, it, I think I've, you know, I've gotten a little bit of length. It's still not to the point where I'm starting to see length, um, you know, in leaps and bounds, but I mean, it's getting there. And I noticed too, that each lock is thick. It's getting thicker and thicker. And from what I've heard, eventually over time the locks do tend to thin out over over time but i'm hoping that um my locks kind of stay like this this kind of width because i like thick locks i think they're beautiful but that is really it guys um i wish i had something more exciting to tell you but you know i'm hanging in there i'm trying my best to to um you know be encouraged 
and I can tell you this, I don't miss detangling my hair because detangling my natural loose hair was, it was just an all day affair. It, it, and the longer my hair got, the worse it got. And I, I just could not see myself doing that like for the rest of my life. <laughs> it was just, I can't do that forever. There was, it was just depressing. It really was. It, it got to the point where I dreaded wash day. And with locks, all I have to do is wash it, put some leave-in conditioner in it, like the spray leave-in conditioner in it, put some oil in it, and retwist and go. And I'm 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 happy with that. Like that is cool. So, um, please leave me some comments below. Like this video. Sorry that this was a short uh, update, but hopefully. Well, I only got like, what, two weeks till six months. So I don't know if I'm going to really do a video. I don't know. Um, I might do one. It's not going to be like any drastic changes um, at the six month mark. So what I may end up doing is maybe skipping a month or something. And then coming back at maybe month seven. We'll see. Hope y'all have a good Sunday. Talk to you soon. Like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.